all right so exciting day today <laughs> all right so i am sharing the screen we are going to be starting the um the section on patana right can you all see the screen yes lovely good now patana <clears throat> what is sorry to offer you a brief introduction before we get into what this subject essentially is so the patana hold on let me also So the Patana, the Patana is the last book of Abhidhamma. It is translated to be uh, conditional relations, right? And what essentially is the Patana? What kind of, why is the Patana such a renowned piece of doctrine in not only Theravada Buddhism, but across different and other schools of Buddhism, still Patana is a very prominent, a very deep, a very advanced piece of doctrine. And why is this? So in a nutshell, all that we have been learning up to now, right, with regards to what we have essentially been learning, up until last week is Chitta, Chetasika, Rupa, and Nibbana, right? The four ultimate realities. Now the Patana offers the explanation to how does the ultimate or how do the ultimate realities make sense to this life that we live. To this life that we live. The 24 parts or conditional relations spoken of within the Patana offer the explanation of how Conditioned states, these three parts, conditioned states supported by a force gives result to a conditional relations law. Pachaya, Pachaya Sati, and Pachupan. Because chitta, chetasika, rupa are conditioned phenomena. Because of conditioned phenomena, because of the fact that they are conditioned, sankata dhamma, because of the fact that they are conditioned, these dhammas give way when a certain force is applied, gives way to a result. That result could be one or more of the part of the 24 conditioned relations. Do you understand? Right? Conditioned phenomena, conditioned relations conditional relations. And the Pacha Sati is in the middle, giving or translating the conditioned phenomena into a specific conditioned state. This is what the Patana explains. 
This is what the Pakthana explains. So let us get down to it. So page, what is a page? Page 292, please. I'm also sharing the screen for those of you for ease. And we will also be referring to Lady Sado's books, of course. Now, Compendium of Conditionality, Pachaya Sangha Vivag. I shall now explain here in a fitting manner the detailed analysis of the conditioned states and of those condition and of those states which are conditions, which are conditions and of how they are related and of how they are related. Guide to verse one, I shall explain here. Having thus explained the four types of ultimate realities and their categories, Acharya Anruddha now proceeds to explain in this, in this compendium of conditionality, the analysis of their relations as conditioned states, Pachaya Dhamma, the analysis of their relations as conditioned states, the relation, and the conditionally arisen states, Pachaya Upanada, linked by conditioning forces, Pachaya Sati. Right? Pachya Sakti. So, please make a mark or write somewhere if you must. You have to understand three specific parts to understand Pakthana. What is the first? Pachya Dhamma, Pachya Upanna Dhamma, Pach Pachyupanna Dhamma and Pachya Sati. You can highlight on the book if you wish to. But at the end, you have to, you have, have in capital to understand these, what these three words are. Okay. Pachya Dhamma, Pachyupanna Dhamma and Pachya Sati. Of these conditioned states, yesam sankata dhamma. We know when we say sankata dhamma, we refer to all phenomena except nibbana because all of those phenomena are conditioned. Sankata dhamma. Conditioned states are phenomena that arise independence in dependence on conditions. Is that understood? Condition states are, are ph phenomena that arise in dependence on conditions. Got it? Yes. That is all chittas, all chetasikas, and material phenomena, except the four material characteristics, which is patavi apo tejo vai, right? Except patavi apo tejo vai. Do we know why? Can anyone imagine or guess or know why this is? The four material, I'm sorry, um, the four material um, characteristics are they not arising, continuity, decay, and impermanence? Yeah, they are the ones I was thinking as well. Okay. Bante, are they um, under great essentials? Um, like the fire element and is that right 
that's what i thought the four Aren't motivated the material um, the material you know, characteristics are rising continuity decay and impermanence aren't they okay is that the reason you think so the four material characteristics is the that's why yeah that's what i also thought the great essentials earth water fire and air so noeli you what you are saying is uh, it's because it is the lakanas of uh, anija dukanatma yeah the four characteristics the four characteristics okay anyone else yes vante i i uh, you know think the same um because they are the four characteristics they yeah. haven't got those four characteristics are there for anything any materiality okay. and therefore it is not taken separately as um rupa although it is actually bound under the same um within the 28 rupas all right yes what essentially what essentially that the reason behind it is because patavi apo tejo vayu exist as a nature right exist as a nature the nature is anicca dukkha anatma yes ruled by anicca dukkha anatma right but if we say ruled by anicca dukkha anatma all the others are also anicca dukkha anatma if we if we sort of divide it amongst skanda ayasa and dhatu satcha and if we take the satcha we spoke about this last week where we said dukkha satcha is everything other than the path enlightenment uh, path and fruit right so dukkha satcha which is because of anicca dukkha anatma is essentially present in all part of chitta chetasa and rupa except those which are concerned and connected to enlightenment but if we in so but it does make sense in a way however what the answer should be is the fact that these are natures themselves they are they the way that they operate is by way of law universal law more than the fact of yes conditioned but their nature is linked to the universal law such as for example chitta uh, niyama utpanna kamma niyama bija niyama do you understand does that make sense everyone does that make sense chamari um not yet bante because i'm just thinking it's uh, asking us to see um a chapter 6 um verse 15 mm-hmm. so i'm just looking at that now okay could you read it for us please um and that one is not saying anything about the four material characteristics it's just the summary yes ah oh, so it is but kamaja chitta ja utujana in in that chapter in that but it says the four causeless characteristics bhante i found it it is saying it is explained that characteristics of material phenomena are not produced by any modes of origin like mm. kamaja chitta ritwahara since their intrinsic Adana. nature yeah. consists solely in the qualities of being produced yes exactly that's a, that's concrete maybe maybe i was confused by saying it is like the thing is um uh, their nature itself it's it's simply a nature which is present right just as for example kamachitu to ahara it is not produced by kamachitu to ahara for sure but it is a nature which is present that's the reason that we do not 
right? For example, with regard to the nature of Patavi, uh, Patavi, Apo, Tejo, Vayu, those specific natures are present without an essential condition being present, but just as they are. We are referring to the way these specific natures, these specific dhammas exist with nature. Do you understand? Am I making sense? Yes, Damsiri. Uh, to say that actually these four uh, Mahabhutas are not born of karmic results. They're not born of karmic results. Yes, they are sort of uh, naturally born. They are right. They are actually born. Uh, out of uh, uh, Nyama Dharma, it can be Vijanyama, uh, uh, Urtunyama, but not of Karmanyama or Dhammanyama. Dhammanyama. Yes. So it, it is only Urtuja and Kam, uh, Urtuja and uh, what is the other one? I said, Bija. Um, Bija. Yeah. Because now, they are not born of karma. Yes. yes. The, they, are not, they are not born of karma. Here, I'm also trying to connect it to Patana. Right? So here, yes, it is not born of karma. Born through that, we know that. Right? But let us try to understand Patavi Apu Tejo Vayu. If we look at the way Patavi, Apo, Tejo, Vayu exists, for example, let us say, exists within that nature, is present, let's say, the skin, for example. Right. There is a way that these natures exist within the skin, which then we would define as, okay, this is Patavi, this is the nature of Patavi. These are the qualities of Apo, Tejo, Vayu. Right? These, this way is essentially then, this way which is present is essentially then a way that phenomena exists. Phenomena holds on to each other. Rupa holds on to each other, exists with each other with the grace of this nature. A nature is not a dhamma. Here I'm referring to, by using the word dhamma, right? I'm referring to a specific phenomena. A nature is not a specific phenomena. If we are referring to, for example, this, this could be a specific phenomena. But within this, what allows this to be, for example, hard or to have the motion that it does or whatever it is, there's a nature in this. That nature we define as patavi, apo, tejo, vayu. Do you understand? That is the reason that we do not take Patavi, Apo, Tejo, Vayo into that set to define a conditioned, conditioning phenomena which, by which a conditioned state arises. Do you understand? Why? Because this is simply, this is a phenomena. This can have many attributes. It has metal, there's plastic, there's a bit of rubber, a bit of velvet in the, at the bottom. All of these things can exist. But the nature exists, the way it exists could be patavi, apo, tej, these words we use to define the way that it exists or by which power it exists or comes to have these physical attributes that it does. But that is not a phenomena. Do you get what I'm trying to say? 
Anyone confused? Chamari? Noeline? If you can repeat that, Bhante, please. I will. I will. Chamari? Yes, Bhante, I'm still confused. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Bhante? Right. Yes. Bhante, Chamari showed that point that in that chapter, uh, paragraph, that we are looking at, except for the four material characteristics, they are put in the explanation that in chapter six and uh, that paragraph 15. So when Chamari said that, I looked at that chapter six and that uh, paragraph uh, uh, 15. Sure. And wow. when you look at that, they refer, I have made notes when you have been in, in the book and they refer to those. If you look at that page 252, and in that they say these things have, which are causeless characteristics are four. And I don't know when I had made the notes before you had called them, not these Pataviya uh, Potajas, but you have written there Kammaja, Chittaja, Utuja, and Ahara. Those are the four because I have made this note during on the book itself. So when they refer here, as Chamari pointed out to the four material characters, C, yeah. chapter six, 15. And when you look at chapter 615 on 252, it gives there that uh, there's one cause, two causes, three causes, four causes, and then the causeless characteristics. So that's what they're referring to because they here say that all these other things arise dependent on condition due to cause, except for the four material characteristics. So here the four in this Chapter. I don't know whether the same causeless characters are Kamaja, Chitta, the Utuja, and Aharaja. So, yeah. so, so, the, so the, these are not Kamanyama, Chitta, Nyama, Utuja, because these are the, the, the Rupas, Kamaja, Chitta, the Utuja, and Aharaja. So, why are we now saying we are looking at the Pataviya Pote Jovayo? And why are we not looking at these? I'm sorry, Bhante, I'm quite confused. Yes. Now, Okay, let us come back. Okay. Of the conditioned state, conditional conditioned state are phenomena that arise in dependence on the conditioned state that is chittas, chesikas, and material phenomena, except the four material characteristics, kamma chitta utu ahara, right? Kamma chitta. Utu ahara. Just as when we refer to the reason that we do not take kamma chitta utu ahara, right, is essentially connected to also the nature by which patavi apo tejo vayo exists. Right, Patavi Apo Tejo Vayo exists, which is these natures already arise. The Kamma Chitta Utu Aharaja already arise by the power of states that are conditioned by the power of states that are already conditioned, right? Kamma ja, chitta ja, utu ja, ahara ja. They arise already owing to the power of other conditions by which the phenomena exist. Is that part clear? I'm really, really sorry, but I feel that uh, material characteristics are causeless characteristics. Upache, Santiti, Jarata, Anichata, or the, the arising, those four. And that's why they are saying take all material phenomena except the four Upache, Santiti, Jarata, Anichata, because they are causeless. They don't depend on anything whatever is dependent on anything 
has these four characteristics? Yes. Now that is the question that I am trying to answer through the nature of impermanence of uh, rule. I'm sorry. Patavi apo tejo vayo. Now, Chamari, where did you get the idea that Kamaja the Utuja Aparaja is causeless? I didn't say that oh. because I am my understanding from this book and the, the other work we've done, Bhante, okay. is that causeless has got nothing to do with Kamaja Chittaja Rituja Aharaja because it's just called Lakana Rupa. Yes. Lakana Rupa are causeless, which are Upache um, Santati Jarata Anichata. Right. Although they come under the 24. Um, <laughs> Understood. Right. And I understood that we were assuming that it was causeless. Okay, so we know that there is a cause there, right? But now when we take the lakana, we have to also understand why is it that a lakana, then the lakana is what we are trying to connect to patavi apo tejo vayo. Do you get that point, Chamari? So if I take Patavi, Patavi has the characteristic of arising, passing away, all those four, Upache, Santati, Jarata, Anichata. So does the other um, three as well. Simply Lakana. Yeah. It is simply a Lakana. Yeah, which is causeless. Which is present by that specific nature only. Hmm. How do we define now, for example, if we take now even in meditation, in the beginning, when we take a Patavi Kasina, we look at the Patavi Kasina in the right at the beginning, we've learned this, where we take Patavi Kasina and to bring our mind to a position of focus and one-pointedness, what we do here is to simply focus on the, the kasina as patavi, 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 patavi. This is only for the purpose of bringing the mind into a state of one-pointedness allow us into a penetrative awareness into jhana, into jhana. But as we progress, as we progress, we come to realize Patavi beyond the earth that we know. Beyond earth that we might know. And we go now beyond the earth to the earth nature. That is the differentiation that I am trying to establish now. The difference between a phenomena and the nature of a phenomena. Patavi apote jovayo exists as a nature not as a phenomena. Patavi apo tejo, the natures, patavi apo tejo, vayu coming together, aids the existence of other phenomena. But the patavi apo tejo, vayu are not phenomena. They are simply natures or in Pali, they exist on account of their lakhana. Does that make sense? Mante, yes. the, here we have to consider the patavi apotejo vayu as a nature, as a properties, not as a pachadamma, yes. because, because 
these uh, properties will not give rise to any dhamma. <laughs> right? Yeah. They, actually, these properties will not be a condition for uh, maintaining any dharma or creation of any dharma, right? That that's, that's, that's the idea, yeah? Could you explain that a bit? So, the patavi ako tejo cannot be considered as a pacha dharma, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. because, because, because of patavi, uh, you won't have any any uh, uh, dam, uh, the phenomena, dhammic phenomena, right? So they are just a natural occurrence, just a properties. Whereas uh, when you have uh, something like uh, uh, chitta or chaitika, take one example of chaitika. So that actually can cause, can be considered as a Pacha Dhamma, right? Whereas you will you will never consider uh, Patavi as a Pacha Dhamma. So that's the main reason why you separate these four items out of materiality when you consider the uh, the conditional states of dhamma hmm. right where did you get that from dhamma city sorry where did you get that from no it's my uh, understanding okay because if you if you if you read the pa uh, section 5 hmm. uh, and paragraph 15 the bottom part it says actually mm -hmm. uh, 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 the causeless characteristics for are the one we are talking about mm -hmm. right because they are causeless yeah that's what I thought about. yeah yeah they are causeless yeah so that means they 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 will not produce by uh resultants karmic resultants but as a group it will now we'll say if you take uh uh, 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 uh what do you call the uh, kalap of course, in the Kalapa, you have, uh, as a Kalapa, you have Patavi Apo Tejo Vayo. But as a, the single unit, like Patavi or Apo, you cannot consider as a, a basis for, it, it will not create by the by any cause, causeless hmm. or natural. Exactly what you say is natural. How, however, however, now, Damsiri, if you are going to say Patavi Apo Tejo Vayo, that is a significant difference between Patavi Apo Tejo Vayo and the four characteristics which come right at the end. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right? Mm -hmm. The four characteristics like Pataviya Potejo Vayo, they exist by spirit of their lakana. Yeah. By spirit of their lakana. Yeah. Pataviya Potejo Vayo, however, forms the foundation of physicality whilst the uh, uh, characteristic of matter, the production, the continuity, the decay, the impermanence, these become, these go a step further. These go a step further. Well, now, both of these factors, Chamari, both of these, Patavi Apo Tejo Vayo, 
continue, production continuity decay and impermanence, both of these are natures. Both of these two categories are natures, right? This production continuity decay and impermanence, however, exists on a different level in compared to these ones. Although both of these are luck or exist by a spirit of their luck, these govern everything. All Sankata Dhammas, specifically Rupas. However, these ones, Patavi Apo Tejo Vayo, although these are Lakanas can only associated when they physically exist or when they work together, these Patriya Potejo Vayo can be sought by the fact of their existence in working together. When they are formed, when the Kalapas attach, however, these Lakhanas, this is a Lakhana, these Lakhanas, are different. These Lakhanas are far more, this has a more universal nature of physicality or a characteristic of uh, physicality as a whole and they are causeless. This has a cause. This does not have a cause. That is what makes them far more dangerous and far more insidious than the rest. That is why we cannot cling on to this or clinging on to this is anaria uh, uh, and all of the bad things that it says in them because of the existence of these love. However, both of these exist by spirit of nature. Is that clear now? Um, Bhante, may I ask a question? Yes, um, so with what you said just now, um, it then proves that the Lakkana Rupas aren't conditions, but Patavya uh, Jawayo are, which is what the book says as well, which uh, if we take the, accept the four material characteristics out, and then read the sentence, it says, uh, you know, independence on conditions. So the conditions are all chittas, chetasikas, and material phenomena. Yes. So they are conditions, except the four lakhanas. Except the four lakhanas. Yeah. What is important to understand is the correlation between Pataviya Potejo Vayo mm. the Lakhanas? Because both of them, both of them exist by nature. I think that is a confusing part, how both of them exist by nature. Is that a confusing part? How Pataviya Potejo Vayo exists on account of a nature? Is nature a, nat a natural law then, Bhante? Nature is a natural norm which with regards to Pataviya Potejo, which can only exist dependent on coexistence. Yeah. Dependent on coexistence it exists. Yeah. The moment one element fails, all the rest disperse and disappear. The only way by which these elements stick together is through Anya Manya Pachaya, which is mutual conditioning. If the Anya Manya Pachaya, which we will come into, if the mutual conditioning is not present, Patavi will disappear, Apo will disappear, Tejo will disappear, and Vayu will disappear. Yeah. Which is the point that I wish to make there. 
although they are nature they are a nature that nature can only be seen experienced when they work together and not when they do not work together. only on account of mutual conditioning does patavi apo tejo vayu form to become the foundation of all other phenomena physical phenomena all other physical phenomena which allows production continuity decay and impermanence does that make sense yes but it's much better now i yeah. have to think about it yeah <laughs> thank you uh, okay. right. um yes samantha oh sorry just a, just a little um silly um thing is it simply a simple way of looking at it is it like a cake like cake um, consists of eggs butter sugar and that's it like you know and is that what in, in a sort of like very simple way of looking at it or is that more confusing i mean presume ex- exists on its own or maybe i'll just forget it completely mm i forget i forget the cake then i yeah. get your point i get your point and i think yes yes it is you can forget the cake yeah yeah yes i think yes okay i'll i'll think about what you said instead thank you <laughs> to ever or for all of us <laughs> but yes it is actually right bante uh, yeah. bante then that means the rupa rupa uh and um um are the two phenomena that take place with the um mind that is that is what it's that then only the phenomena take place right rupa rupa and the um you know you need to have the three uh, three conditions together for it to appear and disappear isn't it do you uh, which conditions i talk about uh, uh, shani is it anicca dukanaatma or mm, no um you know this uh, phenomena you're talking about um i don't know how to explain it because um you uh, um mm, the the condition has to be the three things you know the uh, the mind and the rupa the, 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 the when you see and the eye is the rupa what you seeing is the rupa and then the mind comes into that that is the phenomena we are talking about at the moment isn't it and you broken into other things into piece uh, into different different no uh, we are talking about physicality mm. we are talking about chitta chetasika rupa now specifically rupa right now specifically we are talking about rupa nothing And about the nothing to do with nama if that nama with nama don't talk about okay okay nothing to do with nama we are talking about rupa essentially if i may explain if i may explain again for example if we might take a certain object this object can be felt touched experienced all of these things right within this object exists patavi apo tejo vayu there also exists within this phenomena as a phenomena any phenomena will go through production continuity decay and impermanence the characteristics of matter or materiality right patavi apo tejo vayu the nature impermanence is also nature uh, okay no yes. one ever creates impermanence but with patavi apo tejo vayo because these natures exist one because they mutually support one other to exist 
if you take away a part of it, the whole object would just absolutely just crumble, just disappear. Actually, not even crumble; it will disappear. If you take away part of it, this object would disappear right before your eyes. Not even crumble; it will simply disappear. Because without part of it. Apo tejo ba you cannot exist. We are talking about the natures of physicality, but how production, continuity, decay, and impermanence is special because it is causeless. Matavi apote vayo is with cause. Why? Because of the mutual conditioning. This is that is existent within it, which allows us to have objects like this, which allows us to have bodies like this and clothes like this and houses like this. Do you understand? Yeah. That is what we are trying to get at. Mante, can I just ask you? You explained. So you you had the patvya apotejvayo, which with anamani patre with mutual condition it can exist. Then you also explained about the production, the continuity, the decay, and the impermanence. Now those are he said they are causeless. They are they are the lakan or characteristic. Is it? What are those four? When when you said there were four things on the other hand. Which is the production, the continuity, the decay, and impermanence? Is that the four things? Is is that lakana? Is that characteristic? What are what are those four things? The production, the, the continuity, impermanent decay. Mass phenomena that you find in your root chart. The lakanas. Yeah, the lakanas. Yeah, the, the characteristics. That the lakanas, the characteristics. Thank you, Mante. That's what I want to be. The, 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 you put four and four. So on one side, you have the characteristics or lakana, which is the production, the continuity, the impermanent and decay, which are telling us it's the causeless. On the other side, you have this apotejo, but we apotejo wire, which yeah. they, they can't exist without the other. So they, they are this mutual conditioning, and therefore, without each other, they can't. But if they are with each other, then they can exist. Is that right? Yeah, thank you, Matt. Now let's come back to the, uh, the book. Those states, which are their conditions, those states which are their conditions. Ye dhamma patna. A conditioned state is a state which is conditions. Upakar. In the arising or persistence of other states, again. A condition, a condition state, a condition is a state which is efficacious in the arising or persistence of other states. That is clear because a condition helps in the arising or the persistence of other states. Of other states, this means that a condition, when operative, will cause other states connected to it to arise if they have not already arisen. Yeah, this means when they are operative, it will cause other states connected to it to arise if they have not already arisen. Or if they have arisen, will maintain them in existence. Will maintain them in existence. All conditioned phenomena. So now we have to think when we read something like this, when we read something like this, we have to bring our minds to. The processes undertaken by the rupas and by the mind, by my nama and rupa, 
in a way that it fuels the processes to exist, to come to arise, and to also persist. Right? We must take ourselves back to those moments. All conditioned phenomena, as well as nibbana and concepts, all conditioned phenomena, as well as nibbana and concepts, are included in the category of conditioning states. Are included in the category of conditioning states. Is that clear, everyone? All right. We will be going through this with examples as we move along the 24 patches. So don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> and and of how they are related this refers to the 24 kinds of conditioning forces that operate between the conditioning states and the conditioned states This refers to the 24 kinds of conditioning forces that operate between the conditioning state and the conditioned state. These two will be analyzed. Do you understand? Hmm? In brief, the two methods. The compendium of conditionality is twofold. The method of dependent arising to the method of conditional relations. The method of dependent arising and the method of conditional relations. Of these, Now, if we take us to understand the gravity of this subject and the gravity or the power that it can hold in our vipassana and contemplations, if we just go back to what we spoke about and discussed last Sunday, right, with regards to the Nama Rupa Parichayda Jnana, right, the Nama Rupa Parichayda Jnana, one might question. Ah, Nama Rupa exists. Na, I'm sorry. Patavi Apo Tejo Vayo exists. Patavi Te Apo Tejo Vayo, because it is a foundational physicality of this universe, this samsara, we have materiality. We can find self in that definition. The Patana comes in and says, the only reason that Patavi exists is due to the conditional relations of Anya Manya Pache. Because Patavi is supported by Patavi, Patavi is supported by Apo, Tejo, and Vayo, the law of mutual conditioning allows Patavi to do what Patavi does. Now, now what? Now, where is Patavi's power? Patavi's power is in. Apo Tejo Vayo. Then we realize Vayo exists because of Patavi Tejo and Apo. Now Vayo's power is in the other three. Then we go to Tejo. Tejo's power is in Patavi, Vayo, Apo. Now we come to realize owing to this law which helps each other to fuel themselves and itself, we saw self, we saw permanence. We were deluded by permanence and true self. But knowing this, there is no self. Not even in the most subtle of physicality is yourself. Does that make sense? So who gains prominence? 
పటవి ఆపు తేజో వాయు నో వన్ ఆఫ్ దీస్ ద మెథడ్ ఆఫ్ డిపెండెంట్ రైజింగ్ ఇస్ మార్క్డ్ బై ద సింపుల్ హ్యాపనింగ్ ఆఫ్ అ స్టేట్ ఇన్ డిపెండెన్స్ ఆన్ సమ్ అదర్ స్టేట్ అగైన్ ఆఫ్ దీస్ విచ్ ఈస్ దీస్ టూ the method of dependent arising is marked the method of dependent arising is marked by the simple happening of a state in dependence of on some other state the method of conditional relations is discussed with reference to the specific the specific cause efficacy of the conditions is that understood is that understood we know in parijasau pada based on the powers of abhijja and tanha the whole parijasau pada cycle revolves again and again and again and again and again it happens so the method of dependent arise arising is marked by a simple happening of a state in dependence on some other states right one after the other the 12 cycles the the next one happens because of the one before it the method of conditional relations is discussed with reference to the specific causal efficacy of the conditions how is it caused by what power is it supported what is this rule of causal efficacy which is present in this moment that gives motion to this physicality or this mind do you understand that's the question which is answered or that is the scope by which the patana focuses on do you understand the difference is it clear everyone anyone who is lost i think i am lost bante uh, bante uh, patavi does it need the support of the other three i thought the other three are um not that important but patavi doesn't need any help no 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 patavi needs <laughs> patavi needs it <laughs> <laughs> remember remember that example um, actually in the commentaries also they explain there is patavi the gravitational pull which holds that patavi together is a tejo what keeps it together is the apo and what works what makes it workable is the vayu right without the patavi now let's let's think the world this world that we are sitting in right now without the gravitational pull without that furnace like fire at the core of our planet would life be possible it would not be possible right just so if a specific function of the electron or the atom if that function stops would the atom be possible the atom won't be possible in the same manner this nature of tejo cannot persist persist is the word without apo tejo vayu without apo tejo vayu remember the nature not phenomena if they were phenomena yes we can discuss which is more powerful but because they are simply natures we cannot discuss that question they are equally dependent upon one another as a nature equally dependent vante is that why when you get an object uh, to look at like element meditation to separate them mm. uh, to let it go 
Okay, so maybe that is what made you think that Patavi is far more powerful because it is more gross. Mm. But the thing is, although it might appear more, doesn't really give us the right to measure everything in the same way also. Although we might not hear a sound, doesn't mean that there is no sound. Patavi, what we hear, smell, taste and feel, this is grossness. Because it is gross, we hear, smell, taste and feel these things. But that is not a measure of the elements. The elements, what we essentially, what we as meditators would experience during our meditation, we are just touching upon the nature of the element. Just patting it almost. But when we go into the element itself, the element is simply a nature. A nature as much as the mind happens is a nature. It occurs. It occurs. But, but can you please explain? You said how each of these something what all these patavi apples they just use particular words, but how they were related. Can you repeat that again slowly, Bante? Oh how they were related. You mean uh, productive? You said, you said no. You said how Patavi was, and you use different words because of something was with the other one, and you use particular English words to relate these four things together. You, how they were the Dana Mandi Patavi, you explained to us in English words. I couldn't uh, get, you just explained about five minutes ago, Bante. When somebody asks if there were four of these things, one depends like what is the, co the coherent factor. Like, uh, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. The, factor, the hardness yes. maintained yes. by the Sejo, it is kept together by the Apo and it is workable because of the bio. Kept together because of the Tejo. Kept to Held? No. Yeah, kept together because of the Tejo, yes. held together. The form is held together because of the Apo, and it's workable. It changes and it's workable because of the Vayu. Right. right. We went over it, was, it is a commentarial explanation of the occurrence of the natures. Thank you, Bant. Yeah. All right. So, where are we confused? Noily. Sorry, Bante. Yes. Um, where can I help or explain more to uh, better aid, better understanding? Um, it should be okay, Bante. If I read it again, I think I should yeah. be okay. Okay. If you have any questions, just come back next week. Yeah. Thank you, Bante. No questions. Right. Just. Yes. Anyone else? Dante? Yes, um, So the four elements, um, when you were actually explaining them that uh, none of them is more powerful than the others, the image that came up was like the four chairs, uh, four, four legs of the chair. Mm. So, yeah. so is that something, is it similar? without one leg? I would think so. I would think so. Okay. I would think so. Okay. Thank you, Bhante. We, what I think, what I understood after also Shriani adding her point is, you know, we, we understand the elements through our sort of gross interpretation of what the elements are. But we must always, yes, that can be, that can be an understanding that is present in the right path. However, we must always leave that open gap for more, right? For more, because we might not be understanding the full extent of it. 
And with regards to the experience, the elements, if we are looking at it from our meditation experience, I would say it is always healthy to always lead this leeway of there might be more. When there isn't any more, you will know for sure and that is at the time of enlightenment. But up until that point, up until arhantship, up until abhinyan, there is more. Right? So whatever experience you have of the element or the elements, that sort of buffer zone should be allowed for more to sort of come in. And the way I could understand why we would assume that Patavi is the most powerful, but Patavi is nothing without the rest. Just as Apo is nothing without the rest, Tejo is nothing without the rest, and Bayo is nothing without the rest. Yeah. Okay. Now, back to the lesson. Is this point clear, everyone? This paragraph. Is this paragraph clear to everyone? Yes. Okay. We understand how the Padijasampada approach is different from the Patana approach. Yes. Lovely. Guide to verse two. Right. So, you know, Lakshman, Pushpa, Nira, Sujata, um, Anoma, Lettuce, you know. If you do, if you guys are normally silent, but if you don't understand, please let, let us know and I will be very happy to go over it. Yeah. So guide to verse two. Pante, excuse me. Yes. If I ask you a question, there won't be time for you to finish the lesson. I'll go on and on. So I'm just listening for that reason. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so <Sujata. laughs> <laughs> All right. So I won't mind a question once in a while. So that's it's fine. <laughs> All right. So the method of dependent arising. The term dependent arising is a compound of paticha dependent on and samupada arising. Dependent on arising. It arises dependent upon. Origination, arising origination. The expression is generally applied to the 12 term formula expounded in verse 3, commonly met with in the sutras. Abstractly stated, the principle of dependent arising, the principle of dependent arising is expressed by the oft occurring dictum. When this exists, that comes to be. With the rising of this, that arises. Is masming sati ho idam ho ti imasupada idam upajati. In the present text, the same principle of dependent arising is characterized as a simple as the simple happening of a state in dependence on some other state. Here, tabava, some other state, refers to the occurrence of the condition, bhavi, means the conditioned state. And bhava, Bhavakara matta, the simple happening. Bhavakara matta, the simple happening means, means the mere occurrence of a conditioned state. Shall we go through that paragraph again? Should we? Yes. I don't see any. Yes, Bante. Yes, Bante, definitely. Thank you. <laughs> I, do, I didn't see any nodding heads. Okay. Abstractly stated, the principle of dependent arising is expressed by the oft-occurring dictum 
when this exists that comes to be nama roopa pachcha salayatana when nama roopa comes to arise salayatana then arises with the rising of this that arises in the present text this same principle of dependent arising is characterized as the simple happening of a state independence of another state because of nama roopa or salayatan arises because nama roopa is present do you understand it's simply just twisting it one was from the standpoint of nama roopa to salayatan the other is from salayatan showing that it is from nama roopa that i came right the simple happening of a state independence of another state here tabhava some other state refers to the occurrence of the condition the occurrence of the condition bhavi means the condition state salayatana conditioned by nama roopa understood salayatana conditioned by nama roopa hold on dil bhavi means the condition state and ba bhava karmata the simple happening means the mere occurrence of the condition state the mere occurrence of the condition state right so it is relating to the relationship of condition and arising of or between these states of the 12 factors of the patijja samuppada dependent origination factors do you understand does the paragraph make clear everyone right samantha uh yes bunty i think yeah it does so in a way because we got an ear the two rupas nama rupa we've got the body the ear is the the rupa element and then we got the nama as a, we, as a ayatan yeah 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 as a sense space the um thing and because of that the condition is the uh he- he- hearing is it no the condition the condition state is a salayatana it arose from the nama roop oh yeah yeah i see what you mean yeah yeah okay samantha you, yeah. you hold, on, hold on please mm. you go further then mm. you go beyond salayatana mm right yeah in relation to that specific condition at that time Ah oh, right okay yeah yeah understand yeah 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 that makes sense yeah okay huh? but thank you yes yes sir yani uh, that means it's like that buttercup to amity uh, you know the the things they said that each other leaning against you can't one can't work without the other nama or the rupa yes they are leaning against each other and supporting each other they can't survive one without one or the other is that right yes it is correct it is correct but if we are to fine tune that mm-hmm. of all like the layers of an onion mm-hmm. right? all of these layers the topmost or the outer layer exists because that layer is supported by the final levels yeah yeah that allows the outer layer to be that far out from the core yeah if the middle layers were not there then the outer layer would not be there as well yeah understand right so they are built upon those layers mm-hmm. right if we say if we say yes we could we could essentially say that one leans against the other but the proper term that would be used is that it is conditioned by the one prior right one condition conditioned by the one prior yeah. the conditioning 
state and the conditioned state. Right? What comes after Salayatana? Anyone remember? Vedana? Passa. Passa. Now, Passa does not depend on Nama Rupa. It depends on Salaya. Understand. Yeah. Yeah. Right? But can we say, can we say that Nama Rupa has no bearing on Passa? We can't say that. No. However, Pasa exists because Salahayatana has come to be. Yeah. yeah. Understand. yeah. You understand? Yes. Thank you, Bhante. Yeah. So I think the correct word is important. Yeah. Yes, Dil. Bhante, two things. See, at the very beginning, when you started now, there are two things in you know, one is the method of dependent arising and other one is the method of conditional relation of the pattern. So when you started this paragraph in 52, you said because of this, then the, uh, th this happens. The, the second part of this paragraph is that this thing is conditioned because of the first thing. Right, so that, that's how you explain. So now, but they have used two different words. Here they have said, now that simply happening of a state is dependent on some other state. And, and they are given a word here, and they're called some word here. Uh, what's that? Uh, above some other state. So, so that is the condition state, the second one. But why had they given the, the, another word here? They have said, Taba. Some different words. Why are they not using the words which were there on the first uh, in that guide to on the first paragraph? Where it's very very clear there. There is the pachaya dhamma, right? So that is the condition that is there, and the condition which is arisen is the pachaya vupana dhamma. That is very clear. I understand. Clear. I understand. The yeah. reason that they are not using the same terminology is. Yeah then we would confuse ourselves. Okay. We are talking here that those three words, Pache, Pache Upanna, and Pache Upanna, yeah. 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 we don't ah. have those terms in Pache Sampada. Thank you, Bhante. That's very clear now. Right. So, so basically what they're saying in the Pachana, there are three things. This condition is this, and there is a force between them. And that force is only this Pache Sati. Well, in the first one that we have always done, there is this condition, this, and this has happened because of this. So there are two things there, but then the middle thing is the force, and that comes in the Pajya Sati. The latter is, yeah. Yeah. The, the latter, Dil, yeah. yes. the first one is correct. The latter is this. When this, with regards to Pajya Sampada, it is when this, this comes to be. This, yeah. Thank you, Bhante. Right? Yeah. All right. So it, the terminology is different because in that first paragraph, you are talking the Pattana language. But in this paragraph, you are talking. Uh, thank oh, you, Bhante. Oh, yes. oh, yeah, Pattana. Thank you, Bhante. I was confused. Because the same thing, different party words. Thank yeah. you, Bhante. No. <laughs> <laughs> it is not the same thing. <laughs> it is not the same thing. Yeah, I thought much when I said it <laughs> myself. Sorry. Okay. One gives rise to the other, and that had been conditioned by the first one. So that's what this paragraph, Patiti Sampadi, says, right, Pande? Sorting and boiling. Both cooks the vegetables, but it is not the same thing. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this is because the why it is not the same thing. Yeah. Yes, we are talking about condition. Yeah. Right? But where it is not the same thing is because the question of 
what type of conditioning are we talking about? In Patana, we are talking about condition, conditioning, conditioning states, which is, or which are rather, the 24 conditional relations. In Patija Saupada, we are talking about one Dhamma that arises and dependent upon this Dhamma, this arises. This arose dependent as a condition, as condition to this condition state. It's two different things. We might use the word condition, but here, what is conditioning makes a world of difference. Right? For example, let's go back to Patavyapotejo Vayo. Because of in the Patana, by the grace of Anyamanya Pacha, Patavyapotejo Vayo mutually supports one another to exist mutually supports one another to exist. In the Patija Sampada, Avijja Pachaya, Sankara, Sankara Pachaya, Nama Rupa, Rama Rupa Pachaya, we are talking about Nama Rupa now giving rise to Salayatana. And because of Salayatana, Pasa, now two entirely different scopes of analysis. It is not the same thing. Why? In how the conditioning happens. We might use conditioning, but it is two very different processes or way of analysis that we are looking at here. Yeah? In Patana, we are looking at the conditioning states with the sala, with the different Patana 24. Here in the Patija uh, Samapada, we are talking about 12 factors which support one another through the process. That is why it's different. We might use condition again and again, but know that condition is different. And the way it works is analyzed differently when it comes to the Patana in comparison to Pandita Sampada. Yes, Samantha. Uh, thank you, Pandita. Just want to clarify this now. So because of Sankara, you've got Vinyana and uh, Sankara Pacha Vinyana, Vinyana Pacha Nama Rupa. Mm -hmm. So yes, how is that Vinyana and the Nama Rupa, uh, how are they connected? Okay. Now? Let us not go there right now, but we mm -hmm. will. Yeah. Bante, okay. Can I ask a little one one question, Bante? Uh, then, when you are meditating, yes, can't, yes. Can, can't we join both? We can. No. Techniques. No, 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 no. No joining both, Shani. Ana, pana. <laughs> no, but don't don't it come uh, if you look at the elements also while you are doing? No. No, we are not. We are not. We, are not. we can, but no. Not now, first of all, not now for sure, right? Yeah. And we can, but this process happens far more in the future than what we, the present condition that we might be in today, right? Mm -hmm. The present condition that uh, we are in today. And remember, I mean, I think I've told you, if we take the Venerable Pao Xiado, he had two students that he taught the Patana method of meditation. One student developed a case of hysteria and progressed into a psychological case. And he couldn't continue meditation. Meditation. The second who we know is Venerable Naomi Aridamatero who was the only student of Pao Xiado who was able to do the Patana technique of analysis. The reason being 
one you need a lot of knowledge on abhidhamma you need to be so fluent with the meditation with the meditation to samadhi where to a level where you have dispelled the delusions and the illusions of mind and the second is you need to be so fluent on the scripture part the scripture will then lay bare to your analysis into the patana technique of analysis right these are very deep states and in no way at no point now are we ready to go into those types of meditations right those types of meditations so we will discuss that as we go even with anapana we are going to sort of go into those areas so shyani um let's hold it for now yeah <laughs> okay thank you kanthu all right thank you shyani um now just to let's just yeah okay as applied to the 12 terms of the sutra formula this principle referring to the parasan of father by the way this principle means that when any of the conditions such as ignorance etc exists then independence on those conditions the con- condition then de- independence on those conditions the conditionally arisen states such as karmic formations etc come to be come to be do you understand is that clear what that says is this a person comes to be independence in dependence of the structure starting with avijja because of that whole cycle which happens and we have come to be now here we experience those formations that are karmic those formations that are because of ahara uttu all of these things isn't it referring to because those as applied to the 12 terms of the sutra formula the principle means that when any of the conditions such as ignorance etc exist then in dependence on those conditions a conditionally arisen state such as coming formations comes to be in dependence of those states that comes to be through that process salayatana because salayatana exists passa exists because passa exists we see we come into contact with all of these objects when how do we come into contact with all those objects because remember chitta chakku sota gana jibha khaya are all karmic remember that ahetuka pancha dwara ya dvi pancha vinyana all of them are karmic those karmic formations can be experienced by us because at one point because of that avijja we came to be repeating this cycle again and again and again because of the patisanda chitta which focused on the next moment we have come to be and because of that being we now experience all of these formations do you understand that is what that paragraph is talking about any questions chamani you unmute your unmuted your mic for a second there a question okay can we oh it's 831 okay so maybe a good place to stop here then because starting condition relations here a lot of information for today i guess yeah yeah so read your uh, read your book and all right so whilst we are going through 
whilst we are going through uh whilst we are going through these avijja we are going to go to the participants of father i also want to sort of refer to this as well right which is the manual of dhamma right for better understanding so after we read i will get the participants of father section as well so after we read for example let's say the hetu patche which is the first one we will also read this part for better understanding and to also see what lady siado has said about it right because lady siado is the greatest commentator on the patthan and patna sampada of our time right so why not really yeah so this bhante yes yes devi ka yes can i ask you a question bhante if you uh, do you know the page of this uh, section that you you have put us put up because i have his book i can go there and read page 189 page 189 189 okay right i have shared this you, shared this book on um, on our group right i've shared this book on our group so you should be having it um also the others is lady siado's uh, the manuals of dhamma by lady siado right mm-hmm. so you should be having it as well and this is page number 189 for the patthana if you just go through the um the, the contents page you will also find the parja sampada as well yeah so it will be interesting i think right it will be very interesting to go through yeah all right everyone so and <laughs> where would we get a copy of this what you put now the manuals of dhamma well i I've, i've already put a copy maybe i can share it again on the group um it is available on pdf i try to look for the location but uh, mala do you have the email addresses of everyone can i email it to you and you email it out to everyone if you don't mind mala yeah all right mala please email it out to everyone i can do it yeah lovely i'll i'll email it over to you mala okay um <clears throat> lovely so take care everyone i will see you in the morning and uh, good luck good night Thank you, Bante. Thank you, 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 Thank you,